Ashley Johnson, show me the money. Katrina Bookman was beaming when she snapped the selfie. Check it out. Showing that she won a $43 million jackpot at Resorts World Casino in Queens, New York. Go, my mom's. It's her mom. I think it's, this is about to be it. It's going to time for you to retire now. Like, I really told my mom's that, like, as soon as I call her, because she's always there for me. But her joy was short lived when she was told that the slot machine malfunctioned. It was her feeling to call her back that next afternoon evening, you know, and just to tell her that is, they telling me it was a false alarm. It was totally hurtful, totally harmful. I felt like I would never get to the chance to even make her feel probably that first moment. Now, 10 months later, Katrina is suing Resorts World Casino. Katrina never saw a penny from the 43 million that she says she's owed. She hit on the Sphinx slot machine in August but when she went to collect her fortune, a casino employee told her that the machine made an error. Now, the machine, like every machine in every casino, according to the New York Gaming Commission, says that it has a sign, a disclaimer, which states, malfunction voids, pays and plays. Trying to make up for the error, Resorts World Casino offered Katrina a steak dinner. It's about pretty, it's the whole world that not to feel like people can just turn you around and just make you feel like there's nothing worth fighting for. And I feel like 43 million is worth fighting for because that's a lot of money that I can help a lot of people. It's not just about me. Now, Resorts World officials declined to comment on the lawsuit, but a similar situation happened in Iowa to a woman who hit for 41 million on a machine that malfunctioned in 2011. It went before the Iowa Supreme Court, which ruled in favor of the casino with the woman not getting a dime. Now, in Katrina's case, the machine she hit on was investigated by the New York Gaming Commission. Officials from there say the machine did malfunction, and they add, according to regulations, the casino cannot pay Katrina the maximum for the slot machine, which is $6,500. But Katrina's attorney, Alan Ripka, isn't buying that the machine made a mistake and he feels that they have a strong case. The law says that if a casino represents, if you put a certain amount of money in a machine or on a table and you win, you get paid. There must be some objective standard by which a casino machine is rated because for a Supreme Court to rule in favor of the casino, would you say in Iowa, there must be some standard by which they say, okay, Here's how it's supposed to work, and it didn't work. So I would find it hard to believe that she's gonna get a dime out of this, but I just can't wrap my head around that fleeting moment of 43 million. Talk about crashing and burning. I mean, within the span of someone thinking they won $43 million, you can do some serious damage to your life. You could call your boss, say, I quit. There's so many bad things you can do because you think you're rich. It's completely unfair. They should absolutely pay her the money. So how much time between you won 43 million Sorry, no you didn't. Well, you know you have to approach the, uh, the checkout, the cashier at a casino, and that's when she was told by the employee, sorry, the machine So made it a was mistake. the walk, that walk. So she walked to the walk. casino looking at all the other suckers, saying, ha ha, I won. But, ah. it was, but it was the happiest walk of her life. Best walk ever. <laughs> Until she had the walk of shame after she found out it wasn't her money. Thank you, Ashley.